Hello everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Shenrell. Today is another day where I'll be using a randomized uh, number generator to pick the blush and three lip products that I'll be focusing on for the next two weeks. This is a fun way for me to work through my stash and get good use out of everything and make it extra fun because of the, the randomness of it all. So first I'll talk about the products that I chose uh, for the past two weeks. The blush that I've been using is this blush from Basic Beauty. It is a cream blush. It's in the shade. It's October 3rd, although they call it jelly blush, but it's definitely like a cream. And I've been having a lot of fun using a cream blush. This is my very first time using one, and I really like how easy it is to apply. I sometimes would use like a really dense brush, would kind of swirl it in there and then kind of just, you know, buff it into the cheeks. And But more often I would use my fingers, just kind of tap it on and blend it out. Sometimes use, I would use my Blendiful. It's just really easy to use. And it's a really natural flush, so I was happy to use this. Let's see, the past two weeks I used it 11 times. The lip products that I used, first of all, I was using one of my favorite lip products from my entire collection. It's this Balm, Balm Jour uh, Creamy Lip Stain in the shade Salute. I had a hard time making myself use other things. I really like this. It's thin on the lips, it stains, um, but in like a not a non-drying way. It is a creamy lip stain. Very pleasant to use. I have it down that I used this six times. I chose this Laura Geller Nude Kisses Lip Hugging Lip Gloss in the shade Heartbreaker. I love this. I didn't use it as much as I wanted to because it's very similar to the shade of lip gloss that I have in my project pan right now, but I love this stuff. It has a very, it's a, I don't know, it's just a really pretty nude lip gloss and it has a really good scent. It smells kind of like frosting maybe? Kind of hard to peg exactly what it smells like, but I used this four times. And lastly, I drew a lipstick, and I was pretty excited to draw a lipstick. This is the Ipsy and uh, Betty Boop collaboration in the shade Mauve It Baby. I only used it two times though, like one time I used it as a stain over like um, some lip balm, and then I actually have it on today. So I do really like this color, I'm kind of looking at myself, but I'm, I'm considering decluttering this one, just because I know that I'm just not going to reach for it very often, even though it's really pretty. Yeah, is it worth keeping if I'm not going to use it very often? I'll have to think about that. This might end up in the declutter pile. But anyhow, I used that one twice. So now I'm going to use my random generator to choose random number generator. I always say random generator for some reason. And the cats are going crazy back there. <laughs> and first I'll choose the blush. I'll be using the numbers 2 through 11 on this one. Let's see what we get. Number nine. All right, guys, I'm really excited what number nine is. It is this little tiny Bare Minerals sample. This is the Bounce and Blur Blush in Mauve Sunrise. You can see it's the tiniest little blush. And this is supposed to be more like a cream blush. At the moment, it's not nearly as tacky and creamy as the one that like I swatched at Sephora, but maybe it just needs to be used a little bit. I've like may maybe used it once or twice, but it is super duper pretty. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty heavily swatched. Obviously, I'm not going to put quite that much on my cheeks, but I'm excited to get some use out of this and actually really play around with it to see what I think. So initially, I know I like it, but I'm excited to finally focus on this little sample. Okay, for choosing my lip products, I'm using the numbers 2 through 49. First, we have 16, 23, and 21. Okay, so I haven't um, taken my lip products out of this that have already been rolled. I need to figure out how to do that. So I rolled a couple numbers I've already used. So I'm going to quick re-roll two of those numbers. Both 16 and number 21 are products I've used before. So let's try again. We got 15 and 35. Okay, I'm going to go grab those products. All right, 15 was another one of my favorite products. I mean, I, I don't know. I try not to hold on to products that I don't like, but I do have uh, a... I have been lately pulling some of my very favorites. I'm happy about that. This is the NYX Candy Slick um, Glowy Lip Color. And this is in the shade, is it Give Me Some More? Or no, S'more Please. Da, da, da. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I mean, I, I love that. It reminds me very much of the, of the uh, NARS Lip Glides, this particular formula. So I really like it. Number 23 was this e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil. And this is in the shade Mocha Kiss. And this one isn't one that I have really played around with much yet, so I'm excited to try. Although this is also 
very much in the shade range of the lip gloss I'm currently panning, but I will definitely try and get some use out of that. Number 35 was a liquid lipstick. This is one from LipSense. Now I know this is an MLM company and people have very strong opinions on them, but I have it so I do wanna get some use out of it. So please don't hate me or come for me for having this in my collection. This is the one in the shade Apple Cider. I remember this being a like a super nice, pretty nude shade. Definitely a warm nude though. All right, so here is my blush and the three lip products I'll be focusing on for the next two weeks. I'm excited to get some use out of those. Several of those I haven't used in a long time. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you have not liked and subscribed, please do so. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.